I'm Kodiak Coos. I'm Chief Tim. Welcome back for another fantastic episode here in Adventure. We're out on the frontier cooking up some mean grub with our hot tent. Let's get started. What do you say, Chief Tim? Sounds like a great plan to me, sir. You know, my parents used to tell me they used to walk uphill both ways to school. Yeah. Now I see why. How come every old person you run into seems to have some story where they walk 20 miles to school every day? There's this uh, creek, swamp, river, ocean thing we gotta get around. So that's why we gotta take the long way because I forgot my swim trunks sometimes, in Las Vegas. Sometimes it's all right to take the scenic route, guys. That's Just right. Remember that. Right from the chief himself. All right, so here we are, Tim. Ooh, it's raining snow, that's good. Uh, who, anywho. So I guess we'll get to it and get this hot uh, hot tent set up and cook up some grub, what do you say? Sounds like a good plan to me, Cody. All right, so what do you think? I mean, this spot's pretty flat. Yeah, you know what? You want a nice kind of flat spot for your tent, uh, especially if you're gonna sleep in it. Uh, when I was in Montana, I was at an angle. I kept rolling off my mat. My feet were freezing all night, so. That always sucks. It does. Sucks like a vacuum. All right, should probably drop my equipment here. First step, tell your mother you love her because it's important. Next step, unzip this sucker up. So, believe it or not, this tent's actually pretty easy to set up. Um, it really doesn't have a lot of gear. We have our poles. We have what's called a guideline, which is that long stringy rope sucker right there. And then we have our pegs. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we have this. This is good. All right, cool. Now we just got to chop up this wood and we'll uh, get the fire going and cook up some grub. What do you say? That's how it's done, son. Yes, sir. All right, guys, now that the wood's all chopped up, we're going to stack it real nice and neat because we like everything to be sweet and sour. I don't know what that means, but it just came out and it sounds pretty good. So let's roll with that. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what we have planned, what we're going to cook. We like to eat really well here on the uh, Kodiak Coos team. So stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Let's get the sucker going here. So we got some fire started. Should probably light it before I throw it in there. It's kind of like a birthday candle, except it's nobody's birthday. It's always your birthday in Kodiak Coos. That's right. And Canada, depending on what part you're in. Maybe. I don't know. So we want, we got these little pieces, right? Remember, gang, surface area, very important. Do you have any smaller stuff? Tedious. We always get the job done here. We're about to be super toasty in about seven mics. That's army lingo for minutes. Just Over and out. Know. Over and out. Game out. Yeah. I harvest this myself from the Erie Canal. Just kidding. Actually, we got it at the store and it probably came from Alaska or something. So we're gonna cook some breakfast sausage. Is it breakfast time? No, not at all, but you know what? This stuff is pretty good. Hey, surf and turf. So, throw them suckers on there. Oh, um, oh. I should have brought a top just so it cooks quicker. Just throw that lid on? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, she's steaming. Let's 
Say hi to the camera, Shelly. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Well, I guess uh, since we're waiting for this food to cook, I hope it cooks soon. I'm kind of hungry, but um, anyways, anybody ever hear of the Mokili Mbembe? Tim, have you heard of this? You told me once before in a long, long, far away time. Ah, so check it out. Deep in the Congo, I think it's in the country of Cameroon. Um, uh, there's this, apparently it's a giant dinosaur, right? Like a sauropod, which is like a brachiosaurus, those dinosaurs with the long necks. But people will travel there. It's 90 miles away from the closest airport on these dirt clay roads that get all destroyed during the rainy season. So it's incredibly difficult to get there. And here's what I think. I don't believe in like the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. I think that's a lot of jargon and baloney, but this could be real just because the locals there have nothing to gain. They don't make money off of it. The people that go to visit them, like, uh, you know, they're not paying them thousands of dollars. They're not running hotels in their little villages, right? To make yeah. money off this dinosaur. But um, it's weird, like you go, it's so remote you go there and people will show them pictures of other animals, like uh, like a bear, right? There's no bears there, and they they go, I have no idea what this is, I've never seen that before. Or deer, right? Right. So they're really that remote, so why would they lie about it? You know, not to mention, they're all terrified of this thing. So, does, does it eat them, or does it eat plants, or is it just um, massive? I don't know. The They seem so afraid of it, maybe it eats people, but I mean, scientifically, sauropods were herbivores, so meaning they eat plants. Maybe they involved to the carnivores. Maybe or omnivores. It's pretty spooky, though. We should go try to find it one day. Ooh, that looks good. We like to eat pretty well here on the Kodiak Coos team. Uh, only the best crab. Mm, really good. Love it. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Ooh, Ooh that one was a little moist. Right. Oh, that sounded good. So here's the real kicker. This is how you know if crab's done. Good. So we do that. Yeah, this is like heated up perfectly. If you overcook it, you crack it, and then this breaks apart and it's hard to pull out. So we did a pretty good job. Mm. Let's check it out. Dang, yeehaw, that looks good. Good idea about the butter. Hell yeah. Butter, butter's my best friend, besides you guys. I don't know, how warm would you say it is in here? I'd say it's probably about 50 or so. 50? Yeah. yeah. You should have brought warm one enough. of those big thermometers. Yeah, yeah, mm. next time, next time. But yeah, there's definitely probably like a 20 plus degree difference from here than outside. I mean, it's crazy. I was just outside and it's like, holy crap. It's Hi, Jared. <laughs> hey, Jared. <laughs> uh, you know what's crazy, Tim? What's that, Cody? That like the pioneers literally did this and they just walked 2,000 miles. And then Across all of a sudden land. they go, you know what? I'm gonna live here now. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, you know what? This seems like a nice spot. <laughs> got enough trees, got a good water supply. Let's put some stakes in the ground and call this place home, eh? Hey, that's what the Canadians say. That's right. Ruh, ruh. Uh oh. <laughs> Another casualty of the flood. All right, maybe. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Slide wasn't the best idea, guys. <laughs> you know, this would be a really bad uh, time to get ambushed right now. Yeah. It could definitely happen. Velociraptors and all. You guys like my cute orange sled? We should find a hill. I haven't been sledding in years. I don't care if it's not manly, I'll do it. <sighs> all right. I'm Cody Ekuz. I'm Chief Tim. Thank you guys so much for all your amazing support. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, please let us know what you want us, uh, what you want us to do next. Uh, comment down below. Uh, anyways, thank you so much again. Make sure you hit like, subscribe. Share the videos with all your friends and family. That's right. God bless. Thank you so much. Have a great uh, Kodiak Coos day, and we'll see you next time. Let's get rolling, Tim. Wait till you see what we guys... 
Wait, wait till we see or what you know, cut, 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 cut.